Welcome to We On Podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we dive into the science and the danger behind tsunamis, what truly causes these ocean monsters, and why are they so deadly? Russia on July 30th suffered a massive 8.7 earthquake, which left people shaken and triggered tsunami warnings in the nation, along with Japan and the United States. The epicenter of this strong quake, as per the United States Geological Survey, or USGS, was located 133 kilometers southeast of Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky in Russia at a depth of 74 kilometers. The mega quake, as per the Regional Seismic Monitoring Service, was the region's strongest since 1952. It warned that aftershocks of up to 7.5 magnitude were possible. Tsunami alerts went out across the Pacific. What is a tsunami? Here's all you need to know about just how unpredictable and deadly these ocean monsters can be. Here's what you should know. At its core, a tsunami is a massive shift of water triggered by sudden movement under the sea, usually a powerful earthquake under the ocean floor. When the Earth's crust lurches violently, it can push up or drop down a section of the seafloor. That movement displaces huge volumes of water, setting off waves that fan out in every direction. These waves can move as fast as a jet plane. They may travel thousands of kilometers with barely a ripple on the open sea. But once they hit shallow waters near the coast, things change fast. The waves bunch up, rise dramatically, and hit land with devastating force. It must be noted that tsunamis are rare, but when they hit, they hit hard. No, earthquakes are the most common trigger, but not the only one. Volcanic eruptions, underwater landslides, and even meteorite impacts can set off tsunamis. One of the deadliest early examples is from 1883, when a volcanic eruption at the Pacific island of Krakatoa sent a wall of water crashing into nearby islands, killing around 30,000 people. The explosion itself was heard nearly 4,500 kilometers away. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, even massive storms can stir up enough ocean to mimic tsunami-like effects. The word tsunami comes from two Japanese words, tsu, harbor, and nami, wave. It's sometimes called a tidal wave, but as per experts, that is misleading as tides have nothing to do with tsunamis. First warning of tsunami. It's the opposite of what you might think. When a tsunami starts, the waves are often low and widely spaced. But as they approach land, the seafloor gets shallower. That compression squeezes the wave's energy upward, potentially turning what looked harmless into a multi-story wall of water. One of the eeriest warnings. The sea suddenly vanishes. If the water pulls back dramatically, that's often the first and only sign before disaster hits. As per AFP, Roman historian Ammianus Marcellinus has described one such moment in 365 AD after a tsunami struck Alexandria, 